up YouTube, it's Carlisa Victoria. I am back with another video. If you guys are new to my channel, thank you for tuning in. And if you've already been subscribed, then thank you for coming back. So in this video, let's get right into it. I'm actually going to be making, I don't know how many videos I'm gonna be making, but for this video right here. Before I continue, make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. Um, yeah, like, comment, share, subscribe. If you're new to the channel, thanks sweets for stopping in and babes you're going to be in for a treat and if you have already been subscribed then you're already hip so let's get into it in this episode of life of curly so victoria we are going to be talking about dun, 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 dun. anyway we're going to be talking about the importance of a clean house as it correlates to being your most successful self. So, pop the bottle. I've already been popping the bottle, but we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pour a little bit of wine. Nothing major. That's what I say, but sweetie, it's seriously major because this is really, really strong. Um, Anyhow, let's get into the importance of keeping a clean home and what that could do for you as far as your success goes. So basically, let's use myself for an example. I am a multifaceted woman, um, very, very business savvy, love business. I am aiming to grow my businesses in a way that I can't explain, but I've been going through a tough time okay and I don't really and I'm not even talking in relation to business that I've been going through a tough time I have been going through a tough time personally with everything going on um, with a lot of factors that are happening in my life uh, that are just been you know affecting me and it has put me in a place that I'm not grateful for um, well scratch that it's put me in a place that I know that I don't need to stay but I am grateful for the place in which I'm in because it just helps me to figure out a solution. I am a problem solver. There's nothing you can tell me that I can't do that I believe I can't do. If I set my mind to do what it is that I want to do or that I'm meant to do, I will do it and I make no mistake by saying that with the utmost confidence. However, it's been a little rough. So you're saying, okay, we'll get to the point. How is my house being clean going to affect my life? That's the part I wanna get into. So you ever heard of the expression, hmm, basically what you feel like inside is pretty much what everything around you look like. In other words, your inside is chaotic and so is your environment it's chaotic so one sure way to get back into positive spirits and literally i'm not making this up you will notice a difference in your mood and a difference in um the place in which you're in and you will so basically let's get right into the portion that i'm basically trying to explain i have been in a sunken place and I'm using myself as an example because there's truth and also it makes it easier for you to understand. I like to make my channel, basically, I don't like to be so articulate in a manner that people cannot understand what it is that I'm trying to relay. You wanna make sure that you're always receptive to the audience that surrounds. Like, I know there's a majority of women who watch my channel, but I know that there's men as well. And I know there may be women or young girls and young guys who are coming up who might see my channel. My objective, my goal, is to keep my channel at a place where everyone can understand, where it's neutral and it is elementary enough for everyone to understand and ask questions. So, I have been going through it, I am still going through it. The one thing that I decided to do was clean up my space. If Everything inside of me is chaotic. How do I expect it to get better if I don't start with the environment in which I'm in? 
So I've decided to take some time to myself to really focus on who I am, um, focus on the, the things that I'm supposed to be doing with my businesses and growing them leaps and bounds and doing what I'm supposed to do to be successful. Now, I have been, you know, taking that time and using it wisely. I've been literally doing my contract law class. Like I have been doing some real estate, um, you know, things. I've literally, you know, just been listening to my motivational speaking, everything that I believe is pertinent for my success or that is basically needed for my success. And if you hear me go back and forth between certain jargon or certain terminology, um, it's, it's strictly to just get myself, wake myself back up from speaking in the manner in which I speak. Because I am an articulate person and sometimes I do use vernacular that's not on an everyday vocab, okay? So sometimes I'll say a synonym for a word just to remind myself that I'm still speaking to multiple audiences who are watching this channel. So I decided to start cleaning up with your outside environment. I went to sleep that night. I went to sleep on time, set my alarm, woke up, went for a walk, which my walks have really been doing something for me um, because I listen to my motivation, but I also get to experience nature as I walk. So I went for a walk. Uh, I came back today and I said, you know, I'm going to make sure I sweep, mop, clean, just get my environment back to a very clean setting. When I got home today, that's exactly what I did got I had gotten my environment back to a setting in which I could thrive as you could see it might appear to be neat to you and maybe to some it's like oh I see a, a piece of something a piece of dust I don't know but my house smells good and my house is clean there is a section of my house that I'm working on and that's just because I need to get through some paperwork and you know get some things through the shred and get rid of some things um, some giveaways some trash so I put it all in one area but for the most part everything else is clean so I started with internalizing the fact that there's a problem you can't fix the problem if you can't identify it and I said number one I need to make sure that I have the positive mindset that's going to get me out of the place in which I'm in right now Number two, I need to clean up the place, the physical place that I'm in so that I could thrive and think when it comes to business. Now, oftentimes people don't think that these two things correlate, but keeping a clean house helps you to keep a clean mind, you know, internal, external. It is important. So if you are trying to take your businesses to the next level or you just find yourself in a slum right now for whatever reasons that I might not understand and that you might not even understand that you're just in this deep, dark, valley-like place, start by internalizing the fact that you are in a place you don't want to be. Make sure that you're motivated to make the change and then make sure you go clean your physical environment. So... I can't make this up. I've cleaned up. Not only do you find things easier, but you just feel better. I feel a lot better that I have identified the, the fact that there's something going on with me. There's something that's just not right. But then when I started cleaning up, I started to feel better because I was doing something. And then I started to feel even better once I started putting everything away and noticing that my entire, everything just got better. So for me, it makes a difference. I want you to try it. This video is going to be almost 10 to 12 minutes long. I don't want to keep talking, but that is the importance of making sure you clean your home and you also, um, pretty much just internalize in your mind that you can do this so I know you guys are enjoying the wine talks with me I used to do a lot of different videos where um I would just talk to you guys but I will be back and I will be filling that wine glass up so make sure you guys like comment share subscribe and I'll see you beautiful people in the next video and until then toodles and go clean your space bye 
It's only 11 something